Hey guys, I'm back for some more Art World 3, and we're going to be playing on the Bad Luck map. Uh, this is the the horseshoe map kind of thing, with the waterways looking like a horseshoe. And I'm going to be playing with a rank 13 partner. Oh yeah. So, rank 21 plus rank 13, that's our team, versus rank 21 plus rank 19, that's our opponent's team. Okay, and there you can see in the chat that I just told my partner that my that our opponents are 21 and 19. Okay, so we'll fast forward just a little bit, getting those containers, putting on common attack just to guarantee this location. The center location is important. And there I can see there's a fortress. Okay, nice. We're gonna have to use that coyote to scout blue, of course. And looks like both of the big containers are dropping in the navy according to the yellow uh, yellow tick marks on the minimap. So yeah, I'm gonna have to mass produce navy as quick as possible. Uh, and Kaimans are the go-to right now because I can't really start making alligators. It's not really useful. And with a scout, we can see, oh yeah, that's a long time of not making deltas. So I can easily start getting an advantage in numbers. And right when Blue realizes his mistake, I'm already pumping out Kaimans really quickly yeah so i mean i'm gonna easily be able to outnumber but yeah as we all know kaimans are pretty weak so we can't go in uh too hard and of course my coyote and these riflemen are dealing some dang good damage and yeah the machine gun is just not even upgraded but the the flamethrower is definitely upgraded but I mean, yeah. Kaimans are dealing some okay damage. Okay, okay. This damage is mediocre, but considering that these are deltas, I mean, it's kind of nice damage. Now I try to attack, seeing if I can do any damage. Let's see. We do see greens deltas are out here on the front lines too, so I have to fall back. I can't really do a 1v2 with Kaimans. Kaimans literally aren't even aren't even strong at all. But of course, using the the range advantage of the Kaimans and the insane accuracy of the Kaimans when put on hold mode, this will definitely allow my numbers to deal much more damage, much more consistent damage as well. And at this point in time, I have a lot of Kaimans, so I may decide to upgrade my shipyard to level 2, so I can start getting alligators. That's my, that's my thing. All while this is happening, I'm still HQ level 2, uh, so I'm gonna have to upgrade to HQ level 3 soon. And I stole the containers away from our opponents, because, I mean... They, they captured the big container, but they did not capture the small ones. So might as well just go in and steal it. The, again, remember never to capture a big container without a strong enough force to defend it. I mean, you, it, it takes a long time to get one of those. Okay, we can see uh, my partner, which is Yuhara, or Exterminator, Exterminoob, whichever you, uh, name you'd like to call. But, yeah, we're gonna go by Yohara this time. Okay, so we can see that Yohara is basically just gonna go in here and scout. I could really use a scout. We literally don't even know what Green's doing. I send in two Kaimans to scout. And, oh. We can clearly tell Vikings. Vikings are out. Green is going for a mass navy stride. And also, look how beautiful the water looks. Nice. Okay, the Vikings are out, even Blue's making Vikings, so I'm gonna have to just mass produce the Vikings as quickly as possible. And once I have, since I have HQ level 3, I'm able to upgrade this get and get two shipyards full of level 2, so I can, you know, just get more alligators. And yeah, Green still has HQ level 2, and only one Viking factory. Since I have uh, one alligator factory, but I'm upgrading, I should be able to outproduce a little bit. A little bit. 
And here I'm going to capture this container. And this container to get some extra resources. I got a few more supply centers as well as a special vehicle factory. Okay, and blue came out of position with the Viking. And then I move in just for a small probing. Okay, now we have to, you know, put our put our alligators in a sort of position. But at this point, they uh, they decide to attack. And so we use the wasp acid to deal a bit more damage. And mm, there seems to be quite a bit of Vikings. Of course, I do have the home base advantage. Uh, this advantage being that I'm really close to my home base. So we get the production advantage. So once my units are out, we could just send it to the front lines. That's the home base advantage. Of course, there are some ground forces over there trying to attack the dragonflies. And my wasp is down. Since the vikings are horribly out of position, my alligators have no trouble in taking them down one by one. And since I do have home base advantage, right when these alligators exit the factory, they go straight to the front lines. So I'm able to deal with this. So the casualty has been averted. And we can see you are ascending a ground convoy to deal with the ground. The uh, enemy ground forces. Okay, trying to kite them. Remember, these are rank 13 armadillos. Rank 13. Green is the rank 21 player. So, that's an 8 rank difference. That's, that's mainly why these alligators aren't doing any damage. But... Or the opponent's army is drawn away from the navy, so I can send in my navy without having any ground threat. Because if green started amassing some torrents with heavy assaults to back it up, it may actually become a problem. So, I'm just making some alligators. Gonna have to guard this area to get the big container, of course. I move up a little bit, get a little bit more uh, gators. We scout blue. And we can finally see a second level 2 shipyard has been built for green. Green is... No, no, I mean for blue, yeah. Green is HQ level 3. Uh, we don't have any intel on the shipyards. But I have a pretty strong front line. So if they're trying to attack, I will be able to respond. I ask for a strike on the supply centers because we can set blue back a little bit in terms of supply or in terms of boosts because you can only use the administrative recovery thing once uh, so but if they were gonna manually rebuild the supply centers that would be a solid 600 resources set back along with some resources that the supply center would have been producing and we have a solid line of defense including wasp and a couple dragonflies with the main army of a couple alligators. Of course, I'm going for HQ level 4 so I, uh, so I can get some Leviathan. Leviathan action. We can also see that there's a cute little heavy assault. And of course, these buildings are tough. That attack literally didn't take down a single building. Not a single one has been destroyed. Now again, it was rank 13 armadillos. But with that much of a number of armadillos, I expected at least one building to be destroyed. Now I use my supply boost to get some supply, get some more defensive buildings, uh, just in case blue... Because I do see that they are a little bit silent on the navy side. I really hope that they're not going to attack me on the land here. That's what I'm trying to do. And of course... We have to upgrade that in order to upgrade this. And then the big boy will be coming soon. Okay, there's a heavy assault. I don't know what that heavy assault's doing. But it's evident that green is somewhere around here. Because that was green's heavy assault. Meanwhile, I'm getting both heavy containers. So that's going to be epic. I built some naval platforms to basically secure this area of the enemy navy. And turns out green is definitely attacking here. Yeah, as planned. 
So I put on common defense, get some extra range on my gun towers. Good thing I have gun towers instead of sniper towers, otherwise the armored troops would be have too dangerous to deal with. I send in Wasp as a support to these helicopters, you know, providing mist, because these are rank 12 helicopters. So I do have to help with a little bit, even if it's like the mist cloud or the acid strike. I did lose a couple gun towers. And at this point in time, they are striking with the navy. I do have way more alligators, and my alligators are in a strict position, not moving a single inch, giving a really, really heavy advantage in terms of strategically positioning your gators. So, you know, it's it's literally trading blows more effectively. And there it is. With the defensive forces gone, I start attacking with my alligators. Of course, our opponent does have home base advantage, so the produced Vikings are going straight to the front lines. But, I'm going to try and attack over here. Now that this threat has been vanquished, I hit the charge, and I decide to move over here. Because mo most of the platforms are there, so if I engage over here, it's suicide. So if I move over here, I can avoid those top platforms, along with those ground forces at the top. Deciding to move around where the, where the juicy, juicy uh, military buildings are, I can deal damage and set them back in naval production. Because you do need the buildings to make a navy. That's just, that's, that's just common logic. So we destroy those buildings. And yeah, we're just gonna hit them hard. We got some uh, support from Yohara. Okay, okay, gators have been produced, and now with a bit more gators, we are able to take it on the platform. Once these platforms are destroyed, I can more effectively just storm the coast. While Yuhara is keeping these vikings at bay with the dragonflies, basically cutting them off. Green is at a really hard position. Losing quite a decent amount of health every second. Although that is a decent size of Vikings. Five Vikings, I only have four alligators. My alligators are weakly armored. Okay. And big boy Leviathan is also out. I got more alligators coming. Let's fast forward. And it was about at this point in time where I hit the nuke button. This was a big mistake. I literally didn't mean to hit the nuke button. Uh, I, I literally just wanted Leviathan to move over there, but I hit the nuke button. So that's a rip. Literally, <laughs> all of uh, the nuke on water really does look beautiful. Literally, I should have used the nuke right now. It would have been much, much more effective. And of course, green is building naval platforms here, which is which is literally evident that they have a construction yard somewhere around here. Extending the base to cover Blue's base is very, very ambitious, to say the least, because literally they have to constantly make Vikings along with expansion of the base. And remember, actually no, green is the rank 21, so I mean, they're not, not short of supplies. Air defense is being thrown up, but while being constructed, nah, nah. The Leviathans are already here. And there goes the Vikings. And now, with no defensive buildings or a standing army that Blue has, it's just left to crumble the base. And Yuhara keeps this sort of roadblock going on, so Green can't interfere with my plans on destroying Blue's base. 
Okay, so since I don't have the nuke, I'm gonna have to deal with this old style. Of course, Leviathan can take a huge amount of hits, even even if uh, the air defense of the Confederation is so powerful. Leviathan is just a big, big tanky boy. Okay, so let's fast forward a little bit. Fast forward. And let's use the nuke. Oh yeah, this is this is a beautiful. This is just beautiful. There it is. Beautiful. Well, the, the air de defense didn't get destroyed on a single nuke. So that's that's kind of sad, but that's that's still damage. That's still damage. And Yohara has captured the big container, effectively just getting more and more supplies. Ty the first typhoon has came out. But literally, oh, oh, second typhoon? Literally not gonna matter. How many dragonflies is that? That's way more than 10 for sure. Uh, maybe, maybe more than 15. Probably not 20 though. How much is this? Let's count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. I think 15. That, I, I don't know, I can't count really that quickly. But we also have a roadblock right here, uh, making sure these Vikings don't get past. Blue's base is mine, mine for the taking. And I have a ground troop convoy just coming in. And Leviathan is literally at zero health. If the bunker, if this bunker shot at the Leviathan one more time, it would have went down. So literally at zero health. You could literally look at the left side of the screen. Leviathan is starting to regain the health back, but it was at zero health. That's kind of sad. <laughs> Anyways, I am attacking Blue with my ground army along with Leviathan at the back. And probing Green's defenses with my navy along with the air force of Yohara. Yohara is also sending in a ground troop uh, sort of deal, giving some support power. And since I have the nuke back, we can nuke the bunker while staying out of its range. And... That's good. I mean, that actually is good. Because a bunker is really, really heavy. Really heavy armor. So that's actually not bad. But a bunker does do serious damage against a wasp. Look at that damage. If you're not careful, that, that wasp could be destroyed. So, yeah, had to send in my Leviathan to help out. And Blue's base has been crumbled. 